Hi, I'm Patty Armstrong. I'm the Career Services Coordinator here at Santa Fe Community College in Santa Fe, New Mexico. What specific things have you done to really captivate your students? Well, I think one of the things that I get a lot of feedback about that really connects students or gets their attention is the web pages I've created. Um, I'm a one-person program and I'm trying to get information out to the entire campus. And so, and I'm all about uh, making things happen with little or no money. And I had access to these web pages, and people have told me that my web pages are the most dynamic ones on campus. And I use clip art illustrations that illustrate what I'm saying. I have links to various programs and resources and multiple pages about my program. And I think I've told you the story. Um, about the physicist who came down from Los Alamos, never had to do resume in his life. He'd found me online. His work was in virtual reality nuclear disaster scenarios. What did I know about that? And um, but he wanted to look for other work, so helped me do a resume. I didn't know his field. I knew how to do resumes, and he looked at me online. He came in my door, and it was the office was the same size as this one. He steps and goes this is it? And it's like, yeah, so it's kind of this, I created this virtual career center online to make the program look bigger and to help people feel that I'm connecting better. And so when he came in, then I also used some resources that I put on my webpage and I teach people how to use those resources, like ONET, where ONET, you go in and you get those key phrases for a resume those action words, uh, discovered, created, developed, that kind of stuff, they're right there on that web page. You can cut and paste them right into your resume, and people, their eyes just light up. And they go, oh, this is so cool. And I said, this is a free federal program, and that's why I have it linked to my web page so that now I've shown you how to do your resume. You can go in, and you can take this stuff out of the computer, and then you can email me your draft of your resume and we can stay in touch and finish that up. And it really, they feel empowered because I've given them the tools and the connections to do it themselves. And then they own it themselves rather than it's, oh, um, well, I need Patty to help me do this because I don't know how to do it. It's like, Patty showed me how to do it myself, so I own it and I do it. Patty, how did you get into career development? You know, I never didn't even know about the field of career development until I got fired um, from a job. And um, a lot of my clients are kind of surprised when they hear me share my story about being fired. Because I have people coming in who have been laid off or um, they've actually been fired. And then I tell my story of getting fired. Um, I was, fi I was there for 13 and a half years and uh, had worked hard. So I went to the local Department of Labor and they started teaching me how to better mark myself with resumes, interview preparation. It never occurred to me to prepare for an interview um, and how to better search for jobs. And so the things that they taught me and in the process, I, I um, went to a job club, and the job counselor said, you've got skills to do this kind of work in career development. You've been training people. You've been working with young people. You've been supervising people. Uh, you've been teaching people. And so she helped me get a job, my first job in career development, um, running or creating and running an inner city high school career center. And I ended up teaching them how to create a resume, how to look for work, all the kinds of things that have been taught to me, how to re interview, how to prepare for an interview, to treat it like an oral exam. So I learned all that stuff in my own job search and then applied my skills and got into that field. And so people, I use that kind of, to that story of I was fired and I'll look at some of my clients and they're kind of shocked. This is how I turned my life around and got into a better job. I love this field. I love what I'm doing now. This is the best job I've ever had in my life. How do you serve your diverse student population in a time when the job market is difficult? 
Well, I find that the job market is not as grim as the media leads people to believe. And um, while I work with all ages, I'm finding a lot of the boomer and mature people are coming to me and they're really devastated and, and discouraged. And I explain to them that it's not as bad as they think. Um, also, that we've the ceiling has, has blown off the top of how long we work. We can keep working until we keel over. So I tell people about this. If you love what you're doing, you're going to keep working as long and however you want. That's what's important is not I work until this age and now I'm sick of working and I retire. <laughs> You know, I started this file um, to document my work of thank yous, and I had no idea it would get so big so fast with great cards. Um, it's now a celebration of my success. And in fact, I'm a perfect example of how a great attitude will lead to success. My old boss did me a favor 12 years ago. And now I get to work in a job and a career that I love coming to every single day. Thank you, Santa Fe Community College, for, and thank you, NYSOD, for acknowledging the hard work I put in and um, celebrating what I do.